Okay, today we have taken out the vents. We're going to take out the, uh, the AC too, but not today. Um, we've, we've covered one vent down there because, you know, it's kind of been raining here some off and on. But we've got that one out. And look at the mess on that right there. They had tar all over it. So we're cleaning all of it off. We're closing up these lights right here because we're putting in the new kind now, the low profile ones. Um, but we're going to, we've got new vents on order, so we're going to have one, two, three vents. But you have to get all that crap off so that they'll seal well. And I had to sand all of this this here off because they had they had this mess right here on it this right here all the way out here and you'll be able to see this when we paint it so we're gonna have this all sanded nice and smooth so when we put our paint job on there it'll look good and he's gonna seal all of this the right way okay out you can see we took the windows out and see the gunk up there that was on all the windows. That has to be cleaned off so we can put the windows back in and put the awnings back on. And uh, we are going to make us some, some pieces. I'm going to clean up the awning, of course. But we're going to make us some pieces to fill that hole and this hole and that hole so we got a lot of work to do signing off as we spoke i was gonna have to take that gunk off the windows i got it off of all windows and uh i went around and did uh did this right here to get all that off so when we put a bead of uh caulk on there everything will be nice and clean uh, I also, which we thought was uh, <coughs> a rubber seal, wasn't. It was caulk that was right along in here. And so I took all that out because it looked mildew, mildewed. And um, you see why you need to take off all the trim? After 40 years, that's a lot of dirt. Gross. So I'm going to have to clean that up here in a little bit. But, I got all that off, so that'll be all nice and clean when we go to do it. I took this one off, and it's not as bad as the one over there. So, we've already taken the awning thing off and put it back on. Put the uh, drip edges on the corners, because we did the roof first. To make sure we didn't have any leaks. Um, so, you see all the windows are clean, the round the door is clean. We're almost ready to paint. Okay, talk to you soon. Another update. All right, um, you see this trim here? This here? We had to take all of that off, take the belly down from the chassis itself and replace it. Um, all of it had to be cleaned up and we put extra bracing here for the awning. Um, of course, we've got our wheel well off, and see here. Here's how we we took the uh, under the side off from the underbelly, so we could clean that up. Um, it was quite a mess. I had to sand all of it, and then uh, you know to get all the rust and everything off and prime it. Looks pretty dang good now. You probably can't see very good because it's dark. Of course, we took. We took this piece off. So see? See, it's all nice and clean. Yeah. There we go. That's what I did today. And I made myself a jig so I could clean up these pieces. So what I did is I've got it anchored here. And I'm having to get all of this buildup off here. So that everything goes on smoothly. And I got to get my shorty out so I can cut off all of these so we can put new screws in it. But um, this is what you do when you don't have but two hands and you need two more. 
Alrighty.